It's important to realize that even if you offer assistance to someone if they lack the motivation to change their life, your help won't make a difference. It'll just consume your time. Stoicism teaches us to always say no to such individuals. However, it's not just a simple no. It's an affirmation of self-discipline, safeguarding your inner peace, and choosing relationships and decisions that nourish your soul. Discover how Stoicism can empower you to set healthy boundaries and say no to those who threaten your emotional well-being. This journey will lead you to self-respect, authenticity, and a deeper understanding of yourself. According to Epictetus, it's not the events themselves, but our responses to them that affect our emotional state. Your commitment to helping others is admirable, but it's essential to acknowledge that sometimes, despite their good intentions, some people may lack the will to change. Before directing your energy towards seemingly unsolvable situations, watch this video to discover clear signs that it's time to say no to these individuals. Ignoring these indicators could lead to a dead end. We'll discuss nine archetypes of individuals who typically don't want your help and often need to face their challenges on their own. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Stoic today. Firstly, there are individuals deeply immersed in their illusions. Some people create fictional narratives that they cling to, disregarding the stoic advice of honest self-examination and authenticity. This behavior amounts to avoiding their problems. Stoics teach us that growth comes from facing our mistakes. The main challenge with such individuals is their strong belief in their fictional stories preventing them from seeing things from another perspective. They don't realize that emotions can distort reality. These people often don't intend to cause harm but are trapped in a cycle of self-sabotage, possibly stemming from childhood struggles that shaped their need for comfort. Helping them is complicated because they've built a mental barrier. You can try to help, but you might end up harming yourself. It's like trying to convince someone that the earth is round when they stubbornly insist it's flat, even when the evidence is clear. They'll interpret the evidence to fit their distorted view, and change will only happen when they recognize it themselves, often with the assistance of a mental health professional. This behavior may remind you of current political debates, where people cling to their opinions, ignore logical contradictions, and insist on being right regardless of facts. Next, some exploit their deep understanding of others' feelings, a valuable trait highly regarded by Stoics called empathy. However, it's crucial to be aware of those who abuse this generosity. Some people view empathy as a weakness and pretend to be friendly merely to take advantage of you. How do you identify these manipulators? Pay attention to their actions. True friends ask for help when they genuinely need it, while these manipulators often ask for favors even for tasks they could handle themselves. In our world today, where we often show more sympathy for animals than for people, ask yourself how many true friends you have. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Some of these fake friends know how to manipulate your emotions by starting with compliments like, you're a great friend, could you do this for me? While it's okay to ask for help occasionally, these individuals make it a habit, even when they can handle it on their own. They don't value their time, which can be frustrating. Even if you hesitate to help, they can make you feel guilty for saying no, even when you've helped them many times without seeing any changes in their behavior. It seems like they just want your presence rather than genuine help, but they drain your energy, which could be better used for your benefit. They believe that there will always be someone ready to help them. Our suggestion is to distance yourself from these people and not feel guilty about it. Remember that your priority should be taking care of yourself and fulfilling your commitments. Some people are so self-centered that they believe the world revolves around them. For example, when you share your frustration about city traffic, they may dismiss your problem because they haven't experienced it. Even when you share good news like a new job, they can divert the conversation to their job dissatisfaction, 
taking away your joy and replacing it with their worries. These individuals always make the conversation about themselves, becoming the center of attention, even when you were the focus. Do you know someone who always wants to outdo others, whether in good or bad situations and doesn't seem to care about your opinions and feelings? It can be challenging to be around such self-centered individuals. If you find yourself struggling with this, do you have enough self-confidence to ask them to be more aware of others? When you're surrounded by negative people, they can become obstacles in your path. It may be more beneficial to distance yourself from these individuals, especially those who never acknowledge their mistakes. Such people struggle to admit when they're wrong, showing a lack of self-examination and humility. These attributes are highly valued by the Stoics. They tend to blame others and attribute their problems to luck rather than reflecting on their actions. They don't consider the consequences of their actions and often point fingers at external factors, avoiding responsibility. Helping them is challenging because they resist recognizing their own mistakes. When something goes wrong, you'll often hear them say, it wasn't me. If you believe you can teach them humility, you may be wasting your time. Setting limits, as Stoicism teaches, involves discerning and establishing healthy boundaries in your relationships. Saying no to toxic people is an act of self-discipline and a way to preserve your emotional well-being. These toxic individuals may constantly seek to take advantage of you, act manipulatively, drain your energy, or disregard your boundaries. Saying no doesn't mean rejecting them in a hostile way, but rather setting limits to protect your emotional integrity. Stoicism teaches us that our time and energy are valuable and limited resources. Allowing toxic people to consume these resources can hinder you from pursuing more meaningful and constructive relationships and activities. Saying no to these people is an act of self-respect and self-care. Some individuals don't plan, and it can be frustrating to see them not fully utilizing their talents. Especially when you remind them that life passes quickly, yet they seem oblivious to this fact. Valuing the present shouldn't mean neglecting future goals. These individuals have potential but struggle to take action. They understand what they can achieve but become dependent on the help of others. Encouraging their growth is challenging as they lack the desire to change and wait for external motivation. They may watch motivational videos and get excited but then remain trapped in a cycle of inaction. Ancient thinkers understood the importance of working for a better life and avoiding the domination of negative feelings such as anxiety. Individuals trapped in this state of mind remain stagnant and unable to progress. Some individuals always seem to focus on the negative side of every situation, unlike Stoic philosophers who valued serenity and faced challenges with resilience and gratitude. While it's healthy to acknowledge both good and bad moments in life to maintain emotional balance, some people exclusively focus on the negative aspects. This approach can lead to increased sadness and a lack of appreciation for the beauty in the world. Constant negativity can affect the mood of those trying to help, and it feels like there's always a new problem for every solution offered. After proposing several solutions, you may wonder if these people genuinely want help or if they prefer to complain and seek attention. They might be unhappy if all their problems disappeared. It may be more beneficial not to try to help, maintain a positive attitude, and preserve your energy, allowing them to find their path over time. Some individuals rarely take responsibility for their mistakes and tend to blame others. This conflicts with the stoic idea of focusing on how we react to situations rather than blaming circumstances. Supporting someone who always blames others and refuses to acknowledge their mistakes can be challenging. If these people don't recognize their flaws, they're unlikely to seek improvement, as they believe they're already perfect. Some individuals constantly point fingers at others, blaming them for their lack of friends, health problems, or missed job opportunities. 
The best help we can offer is allowing life experiences to teach them, and over time, they may begin to realize the true origin of their problems. Lastly, some people expect the world to favor them and consider themselves extraordinary simply for existing. Stoic principles emphasize living in harmony with the world and others, where respect and rewards must be earned. Well-meaning people may try to help them adopt a more realistic perspective, but these efforts are often not perceived as kindness. Some may even feel that the world owes them special treatment. It is crucial to acknowledge the different types of individuals and assess whether your efforts to assist them are genuinely productive or if it is more beneficial to prioritize your well-being and set boundaries. The philosophy of Stoicism can offer valuable insights into navigating these complex situations and maintaining your emotional resilience. Some people believe that their physical appearance gives them the right to get special treatment from others. But this kind of attitude can make it hard for those who want to help, as they can end up being taken advantage of. Sometimes, even when things don't go their way, some individuals still feel entitled to being treated differently. As a result, they can act ungrateful and manipulative even when given assistance. Instead of continuing to help them, it might be wiser to let them work through their problems on their own. Over time, they might become less negative. The principles of Stoicism remind us that it's crucial to take responsibility for our actions and build strong relationships. Embracing these principles can help us lead a more meaningful life. Therefore, it's better to focus on helping those who genuinely appreciate your advice and are eager to improve. Otherwise, you might end up becoming as pessimistic as the person you tried to help without even realizing it.